Good afternoon. The man seriously hurt in a T-bone crash caused by Albuquerque's police chief last month is speaking out, saying the actions of the city's foremost law enforcer left him with life-altering injuries. Here's News 13's Natalie Wattis. Todd Percher says it was the perfect day for cruising in his vintage Mustang. He says he never expected his life would be turned upside down by the police chief. It was so fast, I don't think I had time to even even brace for it. Saturday, February 17th, Todd Percher was cruising down Route 66 in his family heirloom car, a gold 1966 Mustang. His plan was to head from the Route 66 diner to a Mustang Club meetup at the Atomic Museum. As I approached the intersection of Central and Alvarado, I clearly recall seeing the green light um, before going through the intersection. Uh, then all of a sudden, I saw a black truck come out of nowhere and slammed into me on the driver's side. In that black truck was Albuquerque Police Chief Harold Medina, who would later tell the media he and his wife were fleeing gunfire after pulling over near two men in a fight. Meanwhile, Perchert was left trying to get someone to call his wife. I was bleeding while trying to talk with the emergency operator on the phone. I couldn't breathe, making it difficult to talk. He was crushed in the crash, having to be dragged out the passenger side of his car. On his left side, a broken collarbone, shoulder blade, eight broken ribs, and a collapsed lung. Titanium plates have been put on all but the two top ribs, uh, which was a seven hour surgery. Perchert says he's been in constant pain since the crash. He and his wife, now want answers. My husband's injuries due to the chief's reckless disregard for the lives and safety of others were secondary and blown off as of no concern by the APD spokesperson and the mayor. To make things worse, the mayor praised the chief's actions. That made me sick. Danielle, who was out of town, found out from police over the phone. In my head, all I kept hearing was the police chief was running away. He was running away. He was running away. And my husband is injured because he was running away. The Percherts are now expected to file a lawsuit. We have questions why he pulled over in the first place in an unmarked vehicle with his wife in the car and without his lapel camera on. Officers have been disciplined and terminated for similar unsafe driving practices. The Perchers say they're not asking for the chief's resignation, but say they want accountability and compensation for Todd's injuries. Back to you. All right, thank you, Natalie. In a statement, APD said in part today, it's glad to see Perchard is recovering and emphasized on an ongoing internal affairs investigation into the crash. We have posted the full statement on krqe.com.